and also for the accuracy on OP2, um, it's quite critical, some quite tied up tolerances, so for us it was the only real option. So I'm here at Presto Engineering with James to talk about automation, but as you can see behind me, there is some incredible robots. So James, where did it all begin? Um, it began about 30 years ago. Um, and my dad started the business with one machine in, in a shed effectively, like they all do. Um, and since then, he grew it to a point and then uh, about a year ago, me and my brother Pat took on what was here and hopefully we're going to continue growing it. See, so that's what I like to hear. So what was it like taking that step from your dad? Uh, a pretty daunting one, because obviously your mentality changes from employee to employer and with that, all the extra things that come, you know, um, but on the whole, yeah, it's a great experience. Now, as you can see behind me, this isn't actually your first robot. So, what was it like taking that step from no automation and then having automation? Um, it was a welcome one, because at the time we did genuinely need it. Um, we had quite long running jobs that would go for two, three weeks at a time, and it was becoming an issue of lead times, uh, things like that. So, yeah, it was a welcome one. Now, see behind me, you've actually gone five axis as well, and this is your first five axis machine. So having that and having a brand new robot as well must have been a bit of a daunting task. Yeah, you're right. It was a bit of a bit of a learning curve and a bit of a steep one at that. Um, we had a bit of an introduction uh, with a three plus two setup prior to this. So we had a bit of experience five axis machining, um, but because we needed simultaneous uh, for an aspect on this particular part, it made sense to go the full leap um, and make the big investment now, obviously this is a, a robo job from Hydrofeed. Now, with all the other makes and models on the market, what was it about robo job that made it for you? Uh, well, we looked at a couple of systems, but for us, uh, the main thing was just ease of use. Uh, the software is really simple. So as long as you're computer literate, you can jump on there and understand it and program a job pretty much straight away. Now, Obviously, these are from Hydrofeed. So what was like the service and support from Hydrofeed like? Uh, great, because they're a family-run business. They understand uh, customer and customer satisfaction. So we felt as looked after with them as we do to our customers. Oh, that's nice to hear. Yeah. Now, some of the parts behind us, they look quite complex and they're really nice looking parts. So what was it about these parts that made it that you needed automation? Um, it's got aspects designed into it that require simultaneous machining. So it had to be programmed using that. Um, and also for the accuracy on OP2, um, it's quite critical, some quite tied up tolerances. So for us, it was the only real option. Now, your first robot was from Hydrofeed as well. So having that was sort of like a test run and that must have given you the confidence in Hydrofeed as why you went for the second one. Yeah, well it did. Well, we got the first one and it was a big learning curve at the start. Um, certain aspects on the machine that we weren't quite ready for uh, when running overnight. So for instance, the swarf system and the coolant pump, we were used to cleaning it out three times a day and then we had to go to running 14 hours with nothing. So um, what we learned on there, we've applied to this one. Um, but yeah, on the whole, it's a great system for us. So I'm guessing you would say this has just been a, a complete success taking that step. Yeah, and it was a, just a natural progression to carry on using it. Um, Everyone has to learn the software, everyone knows how it works. And between the two of them, it's basically the same, exactly the same.